Hey, this is Dean Odell with Seven Gables Real Estate in the Odell Group, and it is time for another Tustin Talks. This is the Orange County Edition, March 12th, 2020. So let's start with the charts. What you're gonna see here is the active inventory again is staying way down. We're off 53% from last year. Last year we had 6,336 homes in Orange County for sale. Right now we only have 4,161. That is probably less than half the normal rate of a normal market. Looking at the expected marketing time, just to show you how much this spring market has heated up, we are down to 48 days on average on the market. That is the lowest since July of 2013. Last year at this time, it was taking 84 days to sell the average home. So it's cut almost in half. Looking at Orange County demand year over year, you can see that we are up 12% with uh, 2,583 homes in escrow versus 2,272 last year at this time. Okay, so let's look at the activity by price range. You know this is my favorite chart and gosh, has it really changed. I'll tell you, if you remember how this works, you've got uh, two shades of green, a white, and two shades of red. And so the dark green indicates that it is a strong seller's market. As you can see, all the way up to 1.25 million. It is a light green or a slight seller's market all the way up to $2 million. Just amazing. If you look at the share of housing inventory versus the current demand, you can see how those compare. Along with the days on the market to sell the house expected this year versus last year. Looking at the deep red, which is a buyer's market, that only exists in the $2 million and over price range. Okay, so let's look at why all this activity, why all this craziness. Let's look at the chart here about how a low rate environment boosts affordability, okay? If you look at the amount of money that people can borrow now, as compared to the top of the market last time in 2007, somebody can borrow a half a million dollars and have a payment of 2,041 versus 2007 when they were paying $3,111. So that has, that's happened since 2007. And I'll tell you what, the prices aren't that much higher than 2007 at the top of the market. So when you really look at, you know, is the buyer better or worse off when you factor in inflation and everything else, houses are relatively cheap on a monthly basis, even though we see a large purchase price that freaks us all out. And you can see how that mortgage payment changes with the different loan amounts from 750,000 to a million and how that's compared even to last year. Okay, so this is my advice for buyers in this market. Boy, I know you guys are frustrated. I know you wanna take advantage of these rates. You got all this competition, all these multi offers. What do you do? Well, first of all, you need an agent in your corner that knows what they're doing. So hopefully you give us a call to help you if you don't have an agent already, because this is not the type of environment you want to be shopping around for a home without an agent. Secondly, I want to talk about rates and how low they are. Okay. If you're waiting for rates to go much lower, you may not be able to get a much lower rate than we see right now. And let me tell you why. First of all, the mortgage industry is completely inundated right now with loan applications. One major lender had 67,000 loan applications in the last 30 days. So what the lenders are doing now is they're actually curtailing demand by keeping their pricing up. Because if you look at the price of the 10 year bond, which is what mortgage rates are usually geared to, you could see that that 10 year is maybe hovering around a half a percent historical low and rates are still up closer to 3%. So realistically, the yield spread would normally put a loan somewhere around 1.75 to 2% at that kind of yield. But here's what's the problem. The government is not supporting the secondary housing market by buying these loans anymore, which is what regenerates the revenue to do new loans. That means they're relying on the private investor and they've been doing that for about the last year successfully. 
Well, guess what? The private investor does not want to buy 30 year mortgages at two and three quarters percent. Now, whether or not they're going to have to uh, someday, we'll see. Maybe the government will step in and intervene again and start buying. But until that happens, we are probably going to see rates stay pretty stable where they are right now. So my point is, don't wait around because you think the mortgages are going to get any better. That should have already happened. It may happen, but I wouldn't bet on that. Okay. Some of you, I know I've gotten emails from some of you that have said, Hey, look, you know, I don't want to rent anymore. I mean, rent now is getting expensive with interest rates being this low, right? So you don't want to buy just because of a payment. You want to buy because you're going to build some equity here in the future, right? Maybe you need to get together with your financial advisor. Look at your tax advantages of owning a home. Look at all the interest you're going to write off, what your payment's going to be. See if that makes sense for you. Because the reality is with prices the way they are right now, you really need to be thinking long-term hold and can I handle this house if I have to leave it and, and the market's not there. If prices have gone down, if interest rates have gone up and changed pricing in the market, we've been on a roll for a long time. So you have to be thinking long-term now, can I rent that house? Can I handle the negative that it might have? So be careful out there buyers, but if you're buying for the long term, a home for your family, you're going to be real happy with these interest rates long term. Now moving on to seller's advice. Sellers, if you're waiting for the market to get much better than it is right now, I don't want to use the word greedy, but I would say that pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. Okay. So be very, very careful. There is some uncertainty brewing. We all know the coronavirus is becoming more and more of a threat. Um, it's certainly on the minds of a lot of people. We can argue whether it's an overreaction or not, but it is a something that's gonna have an effect. We've already seen it in the stock market. We don't know what the long-term effects of that are gonna be. Um, there's statistics out there that says when the market drops 20%, on average, it takes two years to correct. So, you know, there could be some repercussions of this. Also couple the fact that it's a presidential election year. Things normally get a little choppy in the second half of uh, presidential election years. So couple all this stuff and it's kind of like there's a little uncertainty out there. All we know is it's really good for you guys right now. It's a seller's market, strongest I've seen in my entire 30 year career. And if you guys are thinking about moving, you need to call us right away and get your home on the market because now is the time to sell. If uh, I was talking to a family member, I would tell them, do not wait any longer. Let's just get that house sold for you. So anyway, that wraps up this Tustin Talks and uh, we'll see you two weeks from now with the uh, Tustin version of Tustin Talks and a little bit of Orange County synopsis. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time. The Odell Group's been around for nearly 40 years. We are ranked number nine in transactions closed and we can give you the right advice to help you make good decisions. So please click on our subscribe button here and start watching the videos and let us know if there's anything we do to help you.